Republicans have introduced a, a bill that will make it easier to buy a gun silencer. Some call it a suppressor. Uh, they say that this is a public health effort. But my next guest says that the legislation only exacerbates the danger for more criminal activity. Joining me now, Lad Everett, Director of Communications for the Stop the, for the Coalition to Stop Gun Violence. Lad, good morning to you. Hey, good morning. Just just to correct you there, I actually work with One Pulse for America, One George Pulse. K's uh, gun violence prevention group. My apologies, One Pulse uh, for America. Uh, so we heard from the uh, president of the American Suppressors uh, Association there that this is about public health. You say that's bunk. From your pers perspective, what is this about? Well, this is about expanding profits for the gun industry. You know, the gun industry uh, for quite some time has been dealing with a saturated market uh, of customers. Gun ownership has been steadily declining in this country for decades. Uh, and the challenge for the gun industry is to figure out what products they can sell someone who already owns, let's say, five, six, seven guns. Uh, one way to do that is by selling them accessories. Uh, as you pointed out in your segment earlier, um, silencers have been extremely well regulated uh, since the 1930s. That law has worked beautifully. Uh, these silencers are rarely, if ever, used in crime. Um, and, and the weakening of regulations uh, here, I fear, uh, could be very dangerous, both in mass shooting situations, but well, also in recreational shooting situations. Let me come back to that in a moment. And gun sales have been and been holding for, for some time and increasing over a, a certain period of years. But w let's talk about the health element here. Uh, proponents of this law point to a 2011 CDC report about the impact of the noise in gun ranges and classes. And, and this is from that CDC report. The only potentially effective noise control method to reduce students or instructors' noise exposure from gunfire is through the use of noise suppressors that can be attached to the end of the gun uh, barrel. So can, can both not be true here that this is in part about profits? I mean, any company that's, that's a nonprofit is in this to, to make money, but also there is a health benefit for shooters and hunters? No, absolutely not. I mean, okay. I have no idea what report you just cited or who the, author, the actual authors were. But I have not well, it's, seen it's, any. It's a CDC 2011 report. And for people who are watching, I'll tweet it out uh, uh, after we finish okay. with the show at 9. Yeah, well, look, I, I have yet to see any actual evidence of, of a public health problem, any actual research into hearing problems with gun owners. But last I checked, uh, you know, earplugs are still readily available. Ear muffs are still readily available at shooting ranges. Uh, there are a whole range of products uh, to help with noise suppression for shooters. The problem with silencers, particularly in a recreational shooting uh, situation like, let's say, hunting, mm. is you want people in the vicinity of gunfire to be able to hear the report of a firearm. That in itself is a key safety element because if there are people around you when you're hunting, let's say, you might not be aware of their presence. The report of gunfire allows them either to identify themselves to you or to move safely out of that area if necessary. That's just common sense. Uh, and this stands to be dangerous, uh, yeah. particularly for people in those types of recreational shooting situations. We've got a minute left here, and, and you know the realities of the numbers uh, uh, in, uh, in Washington, Donald Trump now uh, in the office, Donald Trump Jr. supporting this, um, the loosening of regulations here. Do you expect the law will change? I don't know. It's, it's, it's hard to say. Um, you know, I certainly don't think Donald Trump Jr. will be effective in promoting that law. I, I don't think uh, nepotism is playing too well for the Trump team right now. Um, I, I think if they do try to push this, they'll have a fight on their hands. Uh, I think the whole notion of this being about hearing protection is utterly asinine. And I think it will be very easy for the American public to see exactly what, sh what this is about, which is pretty much a blatant corporate handout to the gun lobby. All right, Lad Everett with One Pulse for America. I get it right that time? You did indeed. Thank you. Thank you so much for being with us this morning. Thanks for having me.